Alrighty. So we spent a healthy amount of time talking about uh, the higher level things, kind of setting the stage for this course. Why should you care about databases? What are databases? What's MySQL? Where's that fit in? What's SQL? And so on. Now it's actually time for us to really get going. So hopefully that's a little bit exciting. Unfortunately, the first thing we have to do is install the tools, install MySQL on your computers. So I want to add a note really early on, which is that in my experience, installing anything can be a pain. And that's true for someone who is an experienced developer all the way down to a complete beginner. It's always a potential point of friction where things can go wrong. And nothing is more frustrating than being excited to do something, uh, being excited to learn something new, and then have it not work or have to spend hours trying to figure out why it's not installed correctly and what's going on. In my opinion, it's one of the worst parts of being a developer. And then also in my experience teaching, I've seen a lot of people get discouraged really quickly when something doesn't work out. If you're unable to install MySQL when you want to learn MySQL, it might just send you in a different direction and you might end up learning another database like SQLite that doesn't require um, as much setup and that's easier to install. So we don't want that to happen. Nothing against SQLite, but this is not a course on SQLite. So I just wanted to put that out there that keep in mind, installing can be a pain, but I'm going to do my best to try and make it painless. So we have three options. The first one for installation is to install it on a PC. So if you have a PC, if you're a Windows user, you can follow those instructions. The next option, as you probably guessed, is that you can install it on a Mac. So if you're following along using a Mac, this would be a good choice for you. But there's also a third option, which is to install it using a service called Cloud9. So if you've taken my other course, you may be familiar with Cloud9. It's basically an online interactive development environment. In just a couple of videos, I'll go into some more detail about it. And before we go any further, I just want to highlight that installing using Cloud9 is without a doubt the best and easiest way to get started and it's what I recommend that you use, which is why I spent so much time drawing this little box around it. Install on Cloud9. So why is that? Why do I recommend that you use Cloud9? There's a couple reasons. The first is that it's what I'll be using in the course. So rather than doing everything on a Mac and confusing the Windows people, or doing everything on a PC and confusing people on a Mac, I'm going to use Cloud9, which is something that Anybody can use regardless of the type of machine that you own, how old it is, how much RAM you have, what operating system, that doesn't matter. It levels the playing field. So because I'll be using it in the course, I think it makes it a lot easier for you to follow along. Now, if you're someone who's pretty confident as a developer, of course, feel free to install it however you'd like. But I highly, highly recommend that you use Cloud9, at least early on, uh, because you'll be able to follow along much, much easier. And the second reason, equally important, is that it's way easier for you to get help if something goes wrong. If you're doing a project or an exercise and something doesn't seem to be working the way you expect or you hit a bug or you're just not sure what you did wrong, you can easily share a link to your environment through Cloud9 and post that on our discussion boards and either me or one of the TAs can help you out. So it's way easier for you to get help if you were just working on your PC or Mac and you're trying to explain what's wrong. You're going to have to take some screenshots. You're going to have to upload them. Uh, you might have to copy and paste some stuff from your terminal. But if you use Cloud9, and I'll show you this when we talk about uh, Cloud9 in more depth, you can just take the link of your workspace and share that and anyone will be able to look at your code and diagnose a problem. And the third reason that I didn't write down um, and this is a really important one, is that installation is basically painless. You have to sign up for an account, and that's about the worst part. Once you're past that, it's one command to get MySQL working, which is pretty amazing. So with all of that said, this is my recommendation or prescription for how uh, you should go about this course. Use Cloud9 to follow along throughout the course. So everything that I do in Cloud9, you'll be able to replicate yourself in Cloud9. And then once we finish the course, you can return back to the installation instructions and then install it on your Mac or your PC natively. So I'll talk about what that means, what's the difference between installing natively versus Cloud9 when we talk more about Cloud9 in just a little bit. So that's my recommendation. 
I highly, highly recommend that you start with Cloud9 and then later on, if you'd like, move to working on your PC or your Mac. All right, so enough about that. Let's get down to business.